with more defections to the so-called independent group, a distinct possibility. The following contains some flash photography. I, I love the fact the Tory defectors had to wait for the Labour ones to do it first. Do you know, almost as if, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Did, did you know you could do that? Bloody hell, hold my sherry, I'm off. Do you know what I mean? And, and as for these Labour defectors, I, I don't know what the big fucking deal is, really. Most of the country, one, doesn't know who most of these Labour MPs are, and two, a fucking amazed Chucker Ramuna didn't fuck off ages ago. Let's be honest, the thing these Labour MPs, sorry, ex-Labour MPs, were most annoyed about this week, it wasn't anti-Semitism, it wasn't Brexit, it was the news that Honda are closing their Swindon factory, which meant their act of treachery stroke bravery was knocked off the top spot of the six o'clock news. The last time they were that annoyed was when Jeremy Corbyn kicked the shit out of the Tories' majority at the last election. They fucking hated that because they were seriously looking forward to putting the boot in and getting their party back. You, you can imagine Chucker a few weeks before the election howling with laughter when reading a manifesto that was actually about helping people out of poverty. Ridiculous Bolshevik nonsense! I bet he shat the bed on election night when great swathes of the same working class that voted overwhelmingly to leave the EU also voted for a socialist manifesto. Let's be honest, right? The Labour ones think their party has gone too far to the left. The, the Tory ones think their party has gone too far to the right. And that's what this is about. The centre ground, where most politicians feel the most comfortable. Centrism. Sounds, sounds great and moderate, but what it actually means these days is right-wing fiscal policies with a handful of progressive social policies to cover the fact that the rich are getting richer whilst the poor starve. David Cameron ushered in a brutal policy of austerity whilst legalising same-sex marriage, yeah? It's sleight of hand. Uh, appoint a cabinet with the most women ever and then get that cabinet to sell off the National Health Service. Centrism is Thatcherism with diversity quotas. These Labour MPs, they don't want progress, they want Blair. They want to go back to the good old days where the choice at an election was this shade of neoliberal grey or this shade of neoliberal grey. All the while, of course, the country is 50 shades of fucked. They want Tony Blair back. The good old days, singing and dancing to things can only get better whilst invading Iraq and introducing tuition fees. I don't believe that Labour has an anti-Semite at the helm. I believe they have something much, much worse. A socialist. A proper lefty. In their heads, that's far more dangerous. Talking of socialists, Tim, Bernie Sanders is back. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. The, the youthful faith of progressive politics. The, the good news is, of course, last time it was the American people will never elect a socialist in the White House, yeah? Whilst, whilst in the same breath saying the American people will never elect a fat, malodorous, unqualified toddler into the White House. So, you know, all bets are off. Thank you. Well, it has been mooted that Tory MPs Justin Greening and Dominic Grieve could be the next to jump ship.